In rural areas in sub-Saharan Africa, water collection is often the task of children and women. And many women do take two to four hours per day to collect water from communal water points or rivers. The time to collect water can be reduced by having wells near the houses. This is possible and affordable by EMAS technologies. If women have to spend less time on getting water, they can take care of their children and the garden. Children can go to school instead of getting water. Also, the water of the household well can be used for more efficient irrigation of crops or for livestock. If families can grow more food themselves, they have to buy less so a well can help them financially. Finally, if families have water available nearby, they may use more also for hygienic purposes. The chances of diseases may be reduced as well as medical costs for waterborne diseases. In areas with sandy ground layers or even compacted clay, but without hard rocks, it is possible to drill wells with EMAS technology by hand. Wells up to 50 meters deep or even more can be produced. The combined cost of a well and a pump is 10 to 15 US dollars per meter. This means that the cost for installing a 20 meter deep well is 200 to 300 US dollars, including a pump. The cost of Emma's wells can be so low because it uses very small casings. A casing is made of a PVC pipe of 50 millimeters and the pump is also mostly made of PVC pipes. In addition, the well drilling tools and pumps are produced with local materials that can be found in any country. Sometimes, families have a hand dug well. The Emma's well has several advantages compared to the hand dug wells. Drilling can go deeper into the aquifer. Because of this, there is less risk that the well dries up during the dry season. Also, it is a more hygienic solution. Water from the hand dug wells is often collected with a bucket which comes in contact with hands of people or the ground. Each time the bucket is lowered into the well, it can introduce contamination in the well. The Emma's pump has a hygienic seal to reduce the risk of contamination. Finally, digging a well by hand can be a dangerous task because wells can collapse during digging. Although an Emma's well and pump generally improves the hygienic situation, it is still possible that water is contaminated for drinking if, for example, a latrine is nearby. To reduce this risk, the well should be placed as far as possible from a latrine. Also, the water can be treated with chlorine or a household filter. Because Emma's pumps are easily repairable with locally available materials and skills, they can last over 20 years. We really appreciate this pump because um, it not get much maintenance repair as compared to the old one we will be used. Due to the efforts of EMAS in over 15 countries, including Bolivia, Sierra Leone, and Senegal, more than 70,000 wells have been made. Since the 80s, EMAS has trained many people, resulting in over 100 functioning micro-enterprises. Also, over a thousand underground rainwater storage tanks have been installed, and over a thousand Emma's latrines have been installed for sanitation. Because of the use of local materials and drillers, the majority of these pumps are still operational today. Emma strives for sustainable impact. Local people are trained in the construction and maintenance of Emma's wells and pumps such that they can start a micro-enterprise. EMAS is cooperating with the Smart Center Group to organize trainings throughout Sub-Sahara Africa. The EMAS technology and approach has proved to be a strong tool to reach sustainable development goals like SDG 6.1, Water for All, 
and related development goals for income, food, and employment. <laughs>